Right, welcome to the next video. Okay, today we're going to do a bit of quadratic inequalities. So in order to do that, it's going to require us to use all the skills that we learned um, previously about sketching our quadratics. So that's the, the process we're going to have to go through. Um, an inequality, so there's going to be um, a region, you're used to solving inequalities, you might solve a linear inequality which leaves you with an answer where x is greater than. In a quadratic one, because of the nature of the shape of the graph, we're going to see in a second um, that again there can be two answers, just like solving an equation, a quadratic equation. Um, when we solve a quadratic inequality, there's potential for for a couple of answers. And what we need to do, we need to do the sketch in order to visualize the graph. So, for an example, I'm going to solve the inequality. Um, the question will say, find a set of values for x for which something like, and I'm going to try and do this relatively neat, 3 minus 5x minus 2x squared uh, is less than 0. Okay, so... We've got our inequality, that does say x squared on the final term, if you can read it, hmm. not pleased with that. Okay, that's better. 2x squared, um, 3 minus 5x minus 2x squared is less than 0. Your method that you need to go through is this. First of all, you need to sketch the graph. Okay, so we've done a little bit, so we need to sketch... Um, this inequality, the whole thing, sorry, this equation, this quadratic, and we're going to set that equal to y. So we're going to sketch y equals 3 minus 5x minus 2x squared. So I'm just going to do this over to the side here. Okay, we just said 3 minus, 3 minus 5x minus 2x squared. So, let's think about my axis. plus c value on the end is that initial 3, so we can put this through at 3. We know we're going to have a point there, 3. We also need to find, that's obviously the y-axis, and this is the x-axis. X-axis. Okay, we also need to find where it cuts through the x-axis um, and think about the discriminant in terms of how many roots we've got. So, to find out where it cuts the x-axis, we're going to have to solve it. So, we're going to have to solve and what was it? It was 3 minus 5x minus 2x squared equals 0. 3 minus 5x minus 2x squared equals 0. Okay, now, the method for doing this it's going to be much easier if we multiply everything by minus 1, changing this coefficient of x squared to being positive. So essentially when we multiply by minus 1, it's going to change um, the sign of everything. So when we multiply by minus 1, I'm going to be left with 2x squared plus 5x minus 3. Now, obviously, I've multiplied by minus 1. This isn't going to be the final graph, but it, enables, it has the same roots, which enables me to see where it crosses through the x-axis. So, let's try and factorise this. And what are we going to have? Okay, we've got a minus at the end for the final figure for that minus 3. So here I'm talking about this is a minus, which means both the signs inside my bracket are going to be different. I've got a 2 to watch out for. It's quite nice as this is a prime number and this is a prime number. So it's going to be a 2x and an x, and it's going to be a 3 and a 1 in some sort of order with my negatives. And I would just like to have a little think about it for a second, and after a couple of minutes we might just be able to spot, hopefully, that it's 2x minus 1. And the other one would be x plus 3. So let's have a think about this, just check that what we've done is right. 2x times x makes our x squared, sorry, our 2x squared that we want. 2x times 3 gives us 6x, which we then need to take away 1x, which leaves us with the 5x we want, and the minus 1 times 3 gives us the minus 3. So, in this situation, we've got our solutions are where x equals, if I set this bracket here, 
equal to zero. X would equal one half. Or it also could equal minus three. Okay, so we've got those two solutions. So I'm going to mark this onto my graph now. We've got this point here, minus 3, and also a half over here. Now the thing, key thing to remember, which is why I showed you this as an example, what we've been working with was not quite the graph we started with. We multiplied it by minus 1, remember. The effect of which kind of reflects it in the x-axis. We need to think about in relation to this. Now, one of the things we, I asked you to think about when you're sketching graph is look at that coefficient of x squared. It's negative, which means we're going to have the shape that's going to be a, like a sad face, an N shape, um, if you like. So if we go from here, uh, and I'm going to have a draw it in black, I'm going to try and see if I can go through there, down, around, okay. So that's basically my quadratic sketched. Now let's just look back to, we've completed the first step, let's just pop back to what we said sketch y equals now what we need to do for the second stage is we need to kind of interpret okay so let's just have a look at our original problem that graph that we've sketched we need to know where it's less than zero we need to know where it's less than zero okay so looking at this where does this black graph that I've drawn here, where is it negative, giving a negative output, giving a negative value of y? Well, it's where it's below the x-axis. So all of this is positive. What we're interested in is this bit down here and this bit down here, which will also, which will always leave us with a negative value. It's less than zero at these points. So it's less than zero, effectively, for x values going this way from 3, and going this way from a half. So it's where x is less than minus 3 and where x is greater than a half. And that gives us our final answer. Okay, so your sketching has to be spot on in order to do this. You cannot just try and solve this equation and get your linears and try and try and solve an inequality. You really do have to give it some context. You do have to sketch this graph and see either where it's above the axis if it says it's greater than zero or where it's below the x-axis if it has to be less than zero. So a final answer here, I'm gonna just move it over a second so we can put it all in one line. There's the right button. Okay, interpret, and then your final answer. Okay, so our final answer in relation to this 3 minus 5x minus 2x squared is less than 0. That is where, as we've just said, let me put it in red so it's the same, x is less than minus 3, x is less than minus 3, and x is greater than a half. Now, I cannot stress this enough, you must use this process, so you have to be really spot on in terms of sketching your graph. And that is the method for solving a quadratic inequality.